My name is Hallelujah. My name is Awuni Itaiwo. I just want to give God the glory and to thank our, our dad for, for the privilege he has given to everyone of us there. I think uh, it happens in 2015 to 2016. I was in the Netherlands and I was just on my laptop. Then I came across our daddy Simon. I could not even remember the, the topic. But the only thing I had that day was just like, a day will come where the old world we had of this colonia. That will stay with me forever. So I moved to different places. Then when Colonia opened in Abuja, my spirit said to me, that someone you heard that day, that was the minister. And since that day, I've been following every preacher. So uh, fast forward to 2020, I was to move to a club in Germany. And this was the year what I've been waiting for six years came true for me. So that Sunday, my, my agent called me and said, this season you are going for the pre-season for the first time in six years. I said, you have to move it to Monday. I need to be in a service. So he shipped the ticket to Monday. Then I fly to Abuja on Sunday. But before then, I went to my pastor in Lauren. He said to me, Taiwo, I, I know nothing about football. But I know your God has always been with you, who always followed you. So I came to the service on, on Sunday. I was, not, I was unable to meet our pastor, our daddy. So the next day, I was privileged to meet him with some family with me. Then the, when he saw me, the first statement he said to me was that he saw a horse running. Then he prayed for the family, and the family was actually waiting for their visa. That same week, they collected their visa, and they are presently in the UK. I went to the preseason, and my former club called me. They said they want me permanent. Then I was a bit sad because the club I have with already gave me what I needed to play with them for the first time in six years. So I have a decision to make, either to stay or to go. Then I said to the club, this time I don't want to go on loan. You have to let me go permanent if you, if you, if you want me to leave. So they let me go permanent, and that season was the best season of my career. I scored 15 goals, and I was the one that scored the goals that moved the club to the European competition. I came back to the service after the season was over. Then I saw a lot of people testifying. I said, then my spirit said to me, why are you not there? Then I said, I was always shy. <laughs> Then I could not come out. Then I said, after this season, I will come back on stage and I will testify to the glory of God. Fast forward to this season, the club I was with, they said to me, we are the club in England that want you. We love you, but we think it's the best, it's the best chance for you. So I moved to England with my family, with everyone. At the beginning, it was really tough. I had no idea what was going on. My wife said to me, you stop praying, you don't pray the way you used to do anymore. And that was true. So, uh, May 7, I think, Daddy was preaching about the ways of God. I was even angry with my sister that day because she was in my house. Then I didn't want them to know that I'm listening to Colonia because they would laugh at me that I look at you that are angry. So I put my earpiece on my phone and Daddy said, the first statement I had was, that, sir, was just an ordinary man under the influence of God. That everyone should return to the pattern that they used to praise God. That Monday, we had a game in the night. I was on my knee from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. My wife was like, come outside, come and eat. I didn't listen. That night, that was the game I played with the easiest seats of my life, and I scored two goals. <laughs> Luckily for me, it was the week for the revival in the UK. I said to my wife, sorry, these two days I'm not at home. I called Pastor Nile. I said, I don't have the ticket for the revival. He said, just come, Taiwo, I'll send you the ticket. I went to the, to the revival. Then Pastor Nile said, I saw your goal. I saw what you displayed on your shirt. And that thing you displayed will work for you. He prayed with me then. He took me to Daddy. The first statement Daddy said was that, is that, that your football is the only people that score they see now. And in my heart, I said, amen. And that was the end of the story. My club that was really struggling for irrigation, we move from that zone, I will stay in the lake. I just want to do that. Hallelujah! <laughs> so Nottingham Forest striker, Taiwo Awoni, shares his testimony, testimony of what the Lord did for him through Apostle Joshua Selman. 
at Koinonia. First, he said he started listening to the messages that are coming, they were coming from the man of God, and started paying heed to it, doing as God directs him through the man of God. Now, he scored 15 goals for Union Berlin, and Union Berlin qualified for UEFA Champions League. I mean, Union Berlin, you know, he have not qualified for UEFA Champions League for quite a long time, but through uh, our Taiwa Woni, Union Berlin was able to qualify for UEFA Champions League. And after his wonderful spell at Union Berlin, you know, he got an offer from Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest was already promoted from Championship to the Premier League, and they needed to buy players. So Taiwa Woni, you know, became one of their top targets, and they were able to get him. Of course, as a club that is newly promoted to the EPL, they needed to you know do well you need to perform well so that they can remain in premier league but that didn't happen despite the in fact nottingham forest bought almost 22 players if i'm not mistaken they bought their first 11 they bought all of the new players that were only uh so many new players they uh, you know nottingham forest bought but nothing to show for it they were already down the table and the season was almost over they have they have just three matches left for them to know whether they are going back to the championship or remaining in the Premier League. But of course, Taiwa Awoni came through for Nottingham Forest. You know, he scored two goals against Arsenal. He also scored two goals against Chelsea. These two matches were so much, you know, such, a, such an important match for Nottingham Forest and for Taiwa Awoni as well. In fact, the two goals Taiwa Awoni scored against Arsenal was enough to lift Nottingham Forest from the relegation zone to the, I can say, safety zone. So Nottingham Forest, you know, get, got 37 points from those, you know, four goals. Taiwa when he scored two against Arsenal, two against Chelsea. And he helped Nottingham Forest to escape Premier League relegation. So I think he decided to give all thanks to God for helping him and for helping him to, to to become who he is today he's so much important in every player player not just a player everyone's life the god whom you serve who you believed in if you, if you understand that what you are doing whosoever you are and what you have gotten as a, as, a, as a human being is coming from god is what while appreciating god he has testified and you see for some of us who also have that faith and believe in god you see him testifying over and over again because he has men of God praying for him, praying for his career, you know, praying for his football career. And he can only get better. He can only go higher and higher. So congratulations are in order for Taiwa Oni. And we are wishing him the best because Nottingham Forest has a wonderful season. 2013-2014 season is just around the corner. And we expect Nottingham Forest to at least make big 10, not even struggling at the relegation table this coming season.